Good morning, fam, and happy Friday to you. This is Dr. Tommy Pringle coming to you again with another work week, inspirational and encouraging message for today. Forgive me for not posting through this week, but I was traveling pretty heavy with the job this week. Nonetheless, I wanted to leave you with some words of encouragement and something to think about over the weekend as you prepare to face another week. There's a reference that was made this past weekend during service that stuck with me throughout this week. And I believe that was the Lord's way of telling me what our next focus should be. And it was related to our citizenship and understanding that citizenship is the relationship between an individual and a state to which the individual owes allegiance and in turn is entitled to its protection. Next week, this is going to be our primary focus. But over the weekend, I want you to think about where your spiritual citizenship lies. Because depending upon where your spiritual citizenship is, is going to determine where your allegiance is and what you're entitled to. Ephesians in chapter 2 verse number 19 says, Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. First and foremost, the scripture only applies to those who have been saved. We were considered foreigners to those who reside in the kingdom of God because we were not born of the kingdom. So we were considered strangers to the kingdom. But once we accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior, we became children of the kingdom due to being adopted by God in his royal family. And since he is a resident and citizen of the kingdom itself, we became citizens of the kingdom. But the part that I want you to think about aligns with asking yourself this question. Is my behavior and my lifestyle proof and confirmation of where my citizenship resides? Allow that to resonate in your spirit over the weekend as the Lord continues to shape and mold you into the Christian leader that he called you to be. I love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed this week.